the first Indian to be beatified. Blessed Chavara was born on the 10th of February 1805 to devout Catholic parents at Kainagari in Kerala. He was ordained priest in 1829. In 1831, together with fathers Thomas Palakil and Thomas Purukara, he founded the first indigenous religious congregation for men, now known as the Carmelites of Mary Immaculate, the CMI. With Father Leopold, he also founded the first indigenous congregation for women, known as the CMC, in 1866. Numerous were his pioneering works. As the Vicar General of the Siro Malabar Church, he saw to it that a school was established attached to every church all over Kerala. Father Pryor, still busy with work? Yes, I was writing a circular to all the churches. Anything special? See, if every church starts a school, a lot of children will be able to study. A very good idea. Do you think that churches will do it? I will have to give strict instructions. And if any church is not obeying, the permission for the sacraments will be withdrawn. Moreover, in our schools, there should not be any kind of caste discrimination. Will the people agree to that? All are the children of the same father. We will have to eradicate caste discrimination from the society. If we do not guide the people, who will do that? Uh, I'm adding one more idea to that. Every school should provide midday meal for the poor children in order to make it a great success. Will it not be burdensome? How will they manage it? Generous people will help us. You know, all the good works will succeed with the cooperation of the people. He also set up the first ever printing press in Travancore and the first Catholic Sanskrit school. He also started the first home for the destitute and entrusted it to the care of lay people. He single-handedly rousted the rococism and restored unity in the turbulent Malabar church. Amidst all these activities, he led a profound contemplative life.
He profusely translated into poetry some of his intense spiritual experiences. The epic poem, The Compunction of the Soul, The Martyrdom of Anastasia, The Testament of a Loving Father, Meditation Discourses and Requiem Hymns are some. He, together with his associates, spearheaded a spiritual renaissance which ushered in a second spring in Kerala church. Dear brethren in our Lord Jesus Christ, let love be the law of your life. Let that love compel you to forgive each other. Let the love in your heart overflow to everyone. There is no man who never mistakes and there is no mistake that God does not forgive. When you serve the poor and the needy and when you clean the wounds of the sick, remember that the Lord Jesus himself is present in front of you. The day in which you did not do any good to others will not be counted in your life. Your glory and splendor, O Son of God, I long to see. Your glory and splendor, O Son of God, I long to see. Your glory and splendor. Mother